Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. I'm I, I'm in this cave. Well, that was weird. I this heard cave. a skeleton like sound like he's trying to sneak up on me, but I just realized that the area that I'm trying to leave in is that it was a dead end. So I'm not sure where he was sneaking up to me from. Huh. Trying to fix where I messed up this wool the other day. I, I guess definitely I'll just did not do it right. Collect some of this iron on the way out and make some rails. Do you guys have, um, in the town that you're in, have, like, cool activities that happen all throughout the summer? What do you like mean by cool and stuff? activities? Uh, like, in D.C., we have, there's a lot of stuff that ends up getting offered. Like, a lot of free activities. Um, every Friday night, there's concerts down at the, uh, at the wharf, um, which is nice overlooking, you know, part of the Potomac and, you know, places mm -hmm. you know, kids can run around. Gotcha. This one we just came right. from. I was just telling you that I was you know late because we came from the National Arboretum. Started doing Thursday night concerts, um, which I'd never been to the Arboretum before. Actually, it was really cool. Um, it makes you feel like you're definitely not in DC anymore when you're there. And the Arboretum's like a three minute drive from our house. Oh wow, that's cool. It's so close. Yeah. Um, I mean, <clears throat> the the local town uh, that I live in doesn't necessarily <laughs> the lo do the local, local town. <laughs> I mean, cause I mean, cause yeah, I mean, like if I go somewhere like Raleigh, then or Cary, then yes, there is stuff like that. But like in the little town I live in, there they do stuff like during they're you know during holidays and stuff like there'll be like stuff that happens in Fort July that that sort of thing. But like just just during the summer, like here is a random thing, not so much. Um, but then, like, uh, yeah, you go to Raleigh, and there's like I remember last year I went to like um uh, like a showing of the labyrinth just in like this outdoor theater. Ooh. I think I told you about that when we did that. I uh, I don't know if you did or not, but that would it's an interesting thing to do a showing of because that's it was really cool because they like gave you like props to use during parts of the movie and stuff. Um, was so, it like, meant during for the scene families? Yeah. Is the Labyrinth yeah, just... really like a family-friendly movie? God, yes. It's it's a Jim Henson movie. It's meant for kids. I guess it kids. was. I saw it when I was a kid. I also remember being somewhat afraid of some of the scenes. You Is know, it the ones where the guys take their heads off? Possibly. That sounds a little bit familiar. I mean, the David Bowie concept always threw me off anyway. I could never figure out what was happening as a kid with... With that, I, I I think it was just the scariness of I don't I mean, it's been so long since I've seen that movie, but uh, even just some of the monsters that were after it was like a scary setting, huh? Hmm. No, I I've I've been watching that movie since I was younger than my daughter, and she's been watching it since she since was like she was four. younger than you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think the first time I showed her the labyrinth, she was about four. Um. So yeah, she's been watching it. Since then, and she's never been afraid I, I, of it. Mm -mm, no. So maybe, maybe um, I just maybe it's been too long since I've seen it that I don't remember, or maybe I was just scared of everything when I was a kid. Um. <laughs> uh, well, you know, it's kind of funny. We had a we whatever you know I record with Co and them pretty regularly, and we were talking about horror movies from our childhood, and um, Co brought up Jurassic Park. And I think I probably but, talked. To yeah, we do. We talked about the fact that con what constitutes a horror movie. And what right. doesn't, and we both uh, agreed that Jurassic Park wasn't a horror, horror film in the traditional sense, but I can see why certain... Yeah, it's more of a thriller, but they were trying to say all thrillers... Well, I don't want to put words in their mouth. My understanding was that they were equating all horror, all thrillers and horror on the same level. At any rate, I did show my daughter Jurassic Park as basically a test of, of this theory, as can it scare you, and she wasn't scared at all, um, so I don't know. But uh -oh. I, I was curious, like, can can she handle Jurassic Park? Basically, I I wonder if my what my son would think because he loves dinosaurs. I always saw the T Rex as the hero. I, um. Okay. I I mean, he just try and get food. 
Well, I mean, so he did kill that one guy, but that one guy was a jerk, right? So the guy that he ate in the toilet so, was an asshole. So, so he was a without, villain in the movie. Without putting words in your mouth, it's okay to kill people who are assholes. Understood. It's okay to kill the villain in the movie. The villain must die. And that guy was one of the villains, basically. But he was a um, villain so early on. Like He hadn't established he was a villain yet. Well, he got eight. He couldn't establish being a villain after he got eight. That's true, but he got eight early. He was like one of the first people that got got anything bad happened to, and he died. Okay, on a toilet. But then in the end, um, uh, the the Velociraptors are coming for the kids, and the T Rex saves them. The T Rex, yes. in my opinion, I mean, is the hero of the so. Story. I I mean, I see where you're going. I understand where you're going with this. The 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 T Rex technically did save um, the children. On complete accident, but, you know, who am I to judge? I mean, you can say it was accident. I don't know that to be true. I, I guess I that's know, true. The, the T-Rex's it's, motives. It's true. It's, it's possible. Um, I mean, he does make a good poster child for for the movie, you know, with the with his iconic, you know, roar, with the sign falling right, right, down right. and all that stuff in the middle mm -hmm. of the... Other things. So I, 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 I will always see the T Rex as the hero in that film. Okay, okay, that's a good, that's a good philosophy to have. I'm, I'm trying to think what other films like we might see different people as the heroes in. You know, because that's an interesting one because it's all about the the dinosaurs and the animals. So that's taking like some people I'm sure see you know. Um, like the Spider-Man, for example, they see, I don't remember what the bad guy's name was in the first Spider-Man. It's been a long time since I saw it, but I'm sure some people think that he was the hero because he was Hob just goblin. The what? Hobgoblin. Was it Hobgoblin? Um, why was the, uh, imagine it was. in the very first Spider-Man movie and don't get mad at me cause I haven't like read the comics to know like what's different between the movies and the comics and all that stuff. Why was the bad guy after like his best friend's dad? Why was he? after spider-man i don't remember <clears throat> i don't remember either but he is the original villain from the comics i think that's why he's the first villain in the movies as well i just wish i could remember what but their... I, I don't remember why he was pissed off at spider-man yeah maybe i don't know i don't remember how he became hobgoblin either to be honest with you is that was that his bad guy name in the first spider-man was hobgoblin yeah was it really? That just doesn't sound right, but... I'm pretty sure. Green Goblin? Hobgoblin Hop sounds right. I don't know. Let's see. Uh-oh. I don't know how to make a rail. Uh, it's not in my little library. Uh, isn't it just like iron and sticks? Um... I have sticks. Mm -hmm. Oops. There we go. <laughs> go on. <laughs> There's a lot of villains they'll have you know. I'm trying to find the name of this goblin. Wow, oh, it wasn't any of those in this damn list it gave me. A list of Spider Man enemies. It's a long list, Jeff. Of all the Spider Man villains? I don't know how to make a powered rail, I just realized. That one's got some redstone in it. Oh, it's got redstone. Green Goblin. Whoa, phantoms. Uh-oh. Well, that's me. I just jumped into bed, but I also heard phantoms. Uh, yeah. I don't, me. I don't have any Ooh. arrows. I don't have any. Yeah, I can give you arrows. I just don't have a bow on me. There's arrows on the ground. Wish the game would let me pick them up. Thank you, game. Oh, they're seeing you now. 
I said, why are they after me now? <laughs> they were the ones that were sent for you, and then they came after me? Yeah, that's how they work. I've killed one. I hit one with a potato, trying to eat. <laughs> I don't have a sword either. I haven't made a sword yet in this series. Oh yeah, I guess I've been using axes. Now that you say that. Luckily, they, these guys don't hit nearly as hard as they did when I th they first introduced them. Yeah, I was thinking that. I was thinking that they're not hurting. Yeah, they're, they're hurting a little bit. I remember that first day we interacted with them. They killed us. Yeah, it's like four hearts, right? Like per yeah, hit. Yeah, and they chased us underground, and like you couldn't hide from them. Like, I'm getting half a heart a hit. Yeah. Maybe they get stronger at the, the, the higher waves, maybe? I got that guy dead. I cannot hit these boys. Alright. He did. I don't know, it's been that long since I slept. I need to look up like a powered rail so I know how much. Yeah, gold it was uh, uh, it was Green Goblin was the name. Green Goblin. Did it did it also give you the backstory? I probably probably can't click on him here. Let's see here. Norman Osborne Creos. He's generally considered to be the arch enemy of Spider-Man. The Green Goblin is a Halloween-themed supervillain whose weapons, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't sit. <laughs> Fictional character biography. He was exposed to the green formula. He's also the cause of Gwen Stacy's death. Then he does not so Gwen Stacy. Go. Yeah, I don't know who Gwen Stacy is. Oh, then his son becomes the second Green Goblin after being defeated and placed under the care of Doctor Bart Hamilton. Blah blah blah. Well, I remember his son at the end decides to go. You know, he's got to avenge his father, and he becomes the arch nemesis. So maybe, maybe what had happened was, and again, I don't remember. So I'm just gonna make this up. All right, and just hear me out. Okay, um, go on, go on. Nobody can so, ever refute this either. It's not like it's easy to go is, watch the movie. Yeah, this is this is now the canon. Um, so uh, the the first man, he he becomes the Green Goblin because he got exposed to the to the juices or whatever, right? Well, he's just going on a rampage because he's crazy because of the way the juices made him. Um, and he's just out there doing crime. He he doesn't really hate Spider Man, but then he just Spider Man loves crime. Right, right, right. He's just in, into the crime, really. But then Spider Man shuts down his life of crime and gets him killed. And then that's why his son hates Spider Man. Okay. Because his son killed the father. Because the Spider Man killed his father. I mean, it makes perfect sense to me. What are you doing with the top of this thing here? Well, I'm just trying to figure, where's the I light going to go? I don't know. That's as far as I got. Your turn. Tag, tag, you're it. Uh, I think we need some. Okay, God, there's a lot. We're gonna of need glass, but we kind of need to figure out what we're doing before we start placing glass because glass is a is hard to come by. It is very hard to come by. Oops. We got glass panes too. I didn't realize that you had done those on steps. So, where's cloud That's level right. again? One twenty. I don't know. Uh, do I have my clouds on or off? I have my clouds off. Turn them on. Everyone's so upset that we're not using that concrete to make this with. I did see a lot of comments about using concrete that all came in like one random video. I don't like the concrete colors. I don't want to use concrete. Can't make me. 
It is kind of a weird color scheme. Okay, if I try my thing. Right here, will these minecarts keep up with each other or not? Someone said just use redstone lamps. But then it doesn't spin. Uh, well, if you had a minecart going around, it would. Oh, yeah, okay. That, well, I was going to use some type of lighting and then... <laughs> Good. <laughs> and then redstone, but which would probably be either lamps or... Oh, so it goes around and it, like, lights it up in a circle? Yeah. Uh, so you'd have to have, like, activator rails? Yeah. I don't know how to make an activator rail. So we'll, we'll, well put yeah. a pin on that. Can't can't do it. Nope. <laughs> cannot be done. Definitely yeah. impossible. I'll understand. I agree. Sorry, guys. Good idea and all, but impossible. And I just dropped the switch. And instead of going down and getting it, I'm just going to make a new one. Uh, you know, Jeff, I want to tell you a secret. Go, go on. Don't ever get mono. I, I've Okay, too late, but... Oh, that's right. Man, it's the worst thing. I, I, can't, I can't imagine... The, I, when I'm dying someday... I'll, I'll be like, man, at least it's not a mono. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't place these things fast enough to do what I want to do. I've never felt this bad in my entire life. And that's all. It's my story. All these cards do is bump into each other a lot. <laughs> that's all that seems to happen now. Why, why is that? Dang it. <laughs> what are you doing up here? Trying to... What is this? I can't even get up here now. Sorry. <laughs> Tough luck. What is this mess, Jeff? It's, it's not a mess. It's beautiful in every way. <laughs> what are they testing there? I don't know what Babs is doing. She's doing something with the um, the narrator. Oh. I guess... I guess making something get glowstone lamps might be the best idea. It's just not going to be as cool, man. What the hell are you doing? I was trying to make uh, a way for two, one lamp in the middle, remember, and have one gap. Oh, that's never going to work. This is a silly idea. <laughs> I got, you had to test it. You know. You tested it, all right. The test failed. Okay, I'm going to have to go get... What was a glowstone lamp? Was it one redstone? I or... have no idea. I got to remember what that is. Uh, might have to do another trip. Am I still going to die if I go to that nether? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> You're like, maybe? It's possible. <laughs> you ever had food? Yes, I've, so a few good. times in my life I've Listen, had food. I haven't got to the period it's, yet. <laughs> well, I've never that had was... a period, though. It's, uh, I will say. Um, that it was so good that you then tried to recreate it? Uh, successfully or unsuccessfully? <laughs> either, either. I mean, I mean, sure, I've definitely had... You know, gone to a place, and are you talking to like a new dish you never had before, or just like, oh my god, they make the best pancakes I've ever had? Yeah, I must no, yeah, recreate that, that. pancakes. Well, either one's fine, but in my particular case, 
there's I, I had something that was so good and I this this is new. This is not like something I just had like this week or anything, but um but it was so good that uh I, I won't I've I've tried multiple times to recreate it even and I just can't. But it was a dish that I've had before, like you know, in your case like pancakes, sure. And it's like, man, I wish I knew how to make these pancakes that I've had now, but I can't today and I've tried and I just can't. Have you ever, have you ever had that happen? I mean, sure. I, I ironically read a Reddit post a couple of weeks ago that was something along the lines of, what is your cooking secret that no you do that nobody realizes you do? And it was funny because the, the op said something along the lines of, mine is that when I make eggs for my boyfriend, I put milk in them and he constantly asks me, why are they so good? And I won't tell Doesn't him the secret. everyone put milk in well, their Well, and eggs? that's what I was trying to figure out. I was like, that's a pretty common thing to do, though. Um, and I don't quite understand why that's a cooking secret. One of the biggest cooking secrets I do know a lot of people say, a lot of famous chefs, um, and then it's funny because you'll see cooking competitions where they get booed for it. And now I completely understand why they do it. And there's a purpose to it. But a lot of them, if they make a cake, they use a box cake mix as opposed to making the the cake mix themselves. They said, because all box cake mix is, is, you know, baking is so such precise measuring. Right. All the box cake mix is, is the ingredients you need for the cake already measured out. It just saves time, and you can put your own spin on everything else. But you're going to have to recreate what's in that box anyways. Right. I've never, I've always actually kind of wondered about that, is why people... Um, like I know the Comey because she was talking about cakes one time and she's a, she's a pastry chef and I was like did you use a cake mix and she's like no absolutely not and I was like huh I just always use a damn cake mix <laughs> like yeah and that's <laughs> I've seen many professional chefs talk about it that it's just there's no reason not to almost because you're you're basically just wasting time if you don't right huh. I ne I never heard that though I didn't know that I just thought I was lazy but anyways yeah. I'm more curious now on your. Uh, so the, one of the particular ones, there's actually two that come to mind after I started talking. The, the one that I was first talking about um, is the uh, the State Farmer's Market has a a, a, a restaurant, um, and they use ingredients that are all like local, local sourced or whatever. Um, <clears throat> but one of the things they make is uh, fried green tomatoes, and they're the best damn fried green tomatoes I've ever had in my life, and I cannot recreate their batter. I don't know what they're doing there. I've tried so hard. It's like a mixture of like a tempura batter, but it's slightly thicker than a tempura batter. <laughs> MSG. And like the metal. It might, I don't know what I don't know what's going on. Something's going on in this damn um, uh, fried green tomato batter that I just cannot recreate, and it makes the best fried green tomatoes in the world. Like I've gone to this restaurant many times just so I could have fried green tomatoes. Um, okay, see, a... that's one. Oh yeah, I forgot we said this links to OMG Chad's portal. I didn't pay attention. To oh, the, is it uh... linked to Chad's portal now? Yeah, that's it what. Used to link Ryuski's. Uh, nope, it's OMG Chad. At least that's the name that's on the. Uh... Oh, maybe. Oh yeah, it is. Um, I guess Ryuski tore down his portal that got me killed. Yeah, we just need to make another portal by that one. I forgot that that was still a problem, and I bet you Chad has cleaned out a lot of glowstone around here I'm sure everyone has this is the hub so um the other one is uh in the venetian in vegas uh there's a restaurant there it's like a, a diner type place it kind of reminds me of like the cheesecake factory because their menu's so big of just like all kinds of different things um but uh they make a um chicken parmesan that is better than any chicken parmesan i've ever put in my mouth uh, there's a bunch of glowstone right over here. It's over top of instant death, but it's here. Like a bunch of... Is there, there's some glowstone right here, but it's pretty... <gasps> what, what? Oh my god, my game my game just like... I leapt back in time, and then I was suddenly running straight <laughs> off of the uh, ledge in the lava. <laughs> did you go I almost lava? died. I was very close. But you did not get into the lava, is what you're saying. I did not. I mean, I would have been... I would have fallen for miles before I hit the lava, even. It was a very, very far, far. <laughs> then the game rubber bands again just to prolong your death. Yeah. I see you going up over there. I don't want to be here anymore. I mean, you don't have that to. That hurt me physically. Um, so you oh, didn't God. give any examples, though. You do, do you not have one? I, I, uh, specific examples? No. I mean, I've just had really good food at some places 
that I've gone home and tried to recreate. But I, I'm not like a super chef to where <laughs> super chef. to where I think that I'm capable of recreating a lot of things anyway. Like I made, I was really proud of myself the other day uh, or yesterday. I made the, for the first time ever um, my own barbecue sauce just because I was I wanted to do an instant pot chicken with barbecue sauce mm. in it and it turned out mm. fucking delicious but i wasn't trying to recreate somebody else's barbecue sauce like right you just make it barbecue sauce right i, I don't yeah. think i've ever tried to recreate somebody else's dish to that point i just want i mean i i i asked a waitress one time and she didn't know but i would love to know what they're doing to make this batter that they dipped these fried green tomatoes in before they're from I mean, it would be, uh, um, I, I think it'd be kind of interesting because that is one of the competitions I like in when I watch food cooking shows is where they just open up a dish and they say, we're not going to tell you anything about what's in this. Recreate just it. Taste it then yeah. Make it. Recreate right. it as best as you can. Like, don't put your special twists on it. Just recreate it. some. Uh, yeah. Do you have enough blocks oh, to get that high? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I have enough blocks to get that high because that's probably more than a stack, right? Uh, maybe real damn close i mean i've i've successfully That's recreated some dishes but the, the these are the ones that have eluded me um is the the chicken parm okay. where's our portal at again we need to go is it that one way over there the one well, we came in chads so yeah but I, is that chads that i'm looking at i just lost you you were right next to me uh, yeah that way um so i want to let's get our portal squared away too while we're doing this oh. Well, somewhere there's a hub. I think where this cobblestone goes into the sky, there's a hub. But well, we still can't necessarily utilize a hub. We need to get our portals to link up. Well, I think that's the thing. We need to. We need to. Um, our, we need our height in the hub, so we can get to the hub easily, right? Well, I th think as long as the X and Z are correct, the Y will link. As long as but we'll figure that out for the next episode. We're going to stop here. We'll go get our coordinates, get some obsidian, and then come back and try to do what you're saying. Okay. I'll make us both a boat. All right. All right. Thanks See for you. watching, everybody.